Hello and welcome to another edition of the South Carolina Business Review. This is Mike Switzer. If you heard our recent interview with Laura Hutchinson, who runs the Advanced Manufacturing and Skills Trade School at Midlands Technical College, you might remember her mentioning that the building construction class won the 2022 National Championship and placed second in the nation this year. And so today, we have on the phone the director of that program, Robbie Sharp, who joins us now by phone from the college in Columbia. Robbie, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So congratulations on these accomplishments uh, from your classes. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, we've been very fortunate the past couple of years. And so now tell us about the program, first of all, the building construction program there at Midlands Tech. So the building construction program at Midlands Tech, um, we've completely revamped it to try to get all the necessary hands-on skills that the students need. The way we're actually doing that is we are actually building a 1,664 square foot house turnkey on site, watching them off after that point. We're using that to keep the program self-sustainable. And so we walk them through everything from the basics of hand tools all the way through framing, trim, exterior finish, site layout, print reading, estimating, pretty much the whole construction gauntlet. And so this house that the classes are building, you say it's auctioned off. So is it on a, a mobile platform that can then just be moved anywhere? It is not. It is a stick-built home that will gain in value. It will not depreciate you hire a house mover to come in and they put steel up under and jack it up and they take it down the road in one piece. So you start right at the ground level with the foundation and everything. Yes, sir. We do. It sits on temporary piers. You've got four rows of piers that are, that are supporting it, that are mimicking the permanent foundation. When they come in, they'll run their steel down through there and jack the house up. They take it out. We remove the piers and uh, we start over again. All right, now tell us about this national competition that you have been winning and doing very well in over the past couple of years. Tell us about that and what all is involved in that. The competition is held by a national organization called Skills USA, and Skills USA is a career and technology student organization that is within the high schools and post secondary. Most people don't realize that you have a competition amongst the schools at the state level, just like you do in football, basketball, baseball, and other sports. Once the state contest is finished, the winner in each category goes to represent our state at the national level, which is during the summer, and it's bounced from Kansas City to Louisville, and recently it's been in Atlanta. You have some areas where like cabinet making and carpentry, where it's individual, and then you have the competition that we focus the most on is Teamworks which is a four-man team that does framing, plumbing, masonry, and electrical. So they get a little bit of everything. And it's a two-and-a-half-day build. Basically, they're building a small, mocking up a small-scale house in two-and-a-half days. And that's what happens at the state level as well? State level is a smaller version of the national level, but yes. This is something great that the students who win this can put on their resume when they're ready to graduate and hit the workforce. It is. We've actually had our, our carpentry individual finish third in the nation two years ago and got offered a job backstage on a construction project with a big company here in Columbia when they realized where he was from, and he went to work with them two weeks after he got back while he was still in school. And so you're saying that recruiters uh, from companies attend these competitions? Bosch Corporation is the, technic, uh, is the technical chair for Teamworks. Uh, DeWalt is the technical chair for um, the carpentry individuals. And all of these uh, big construction companies contribute and sponsor and help judge and run these competitions. So, yes, they're out there, and they take note of what's going on. Any grand prizes for the winners? Do they get some of this equipment? The winners will always get prize packages, and they range anywhere from, you know, a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a person sometimes it's in tools sometimes it's in gift certificates sometimes Lowe's is a big some officer sometimes it's Lowe's uh gift cards that are five hundred dollars and then they'll get cash uh you name it i've seen all of it given out as you know prize packages out there and jobs be offered also well robbie congratulations again on the achievements that your classes are scoring here and thank you so much for your time today 
Thank you. I appreciate it. Robbie Sharp is the Building Construction Program Director at Midlands Technical College in Columbia. We will have a link to the program posted at our webpage so you can learn more, SouthCarolinaPublicRadio.org, where you can hear this show again. And remember, you can find us wherever you find podcasts. With the South Carolina Business Review, this is Mike Switzer. The views expressed on the South Carolina Business Review do not necessarily reflect those of South Carolina Public Radio.